Do you do you give advice on like like health and like health benefits for like sexual behavior as well as like mm-hmm. like sex restrictions because of health conditions? Like do you do you dig into that a little bit or no? Well, sex restrictions for health conditions, not so much. It's just more or less like, hey, just take it easy. You know, it's not really much detail with that part. Now, if somebody got heart problems, they might want to take it easy. But that doesn't come up so much. Uh, but as far as the first part, what was the first part you said? You said the health issues and then the first part was... Like health benefits. Oh, health benefits. Oh, yeah. I'll tell people about health benefits. But it's just from educational. Like what, are, what, are some health, what are some health benefits? Uh, they help with migraines, number one. You so got migraine sec- orgasms. So More it, orgasms. Oh, oh, so someone's got to... So, here, okay, here's what's, here's what's funny about what you just said, right? The uh, common cliche for mm-hmm. a guy who wants to have sex with his woman that's not in the mood for having sex, she says what? Uh, no, <laughs> I know, but but if the guy oh, says yeah. the guy says why why no, what does she usually say? I'm tired. Or <laughs> or I feel like it. <laughs> I got a headache. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> so that's that's a cliche. I oh, that. I can't, babe. Okay. Not today. I got a headache. But you oh, said gotcha. okay, you right, said <laughs> sex cures migraines. <laughs> AKA that, well, headaches. Orgasms. Yes. Or- orgasms do. But sex leads to orgasms if you have it. If, if, if I mean, you might have sex. Let me, and I let have me cure that migraine. What you mean? You had a hard day? Migraine relief. <laughs> <laughs> and it's li- a natural relief. You don't like your, your in laws? Migraine relief. <laughs> you hate what I did to you in a dream you had? Migraine relief. <laughs> I got some relief for you. Like, oh, exactly. You. <laughs> like, come on. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so yeah. so sex relieves migraines. What uh-huh. else? What else? It, it's also like a form of exercise. When you think about it, it's slow calorie burning, but it still burns calories. Uh, so that's another thing. That's right? true. Because you're I'm, moving. I'm not gonna lie. Increase Som- heart rate. Sometimes after sex, my triceps are like pulsing, <laughs> and I have to figure out why. Like it's like usually like a workout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing too. And also, uh, oh man, I can't I start with a P. And I this chemical I get mixed up in my head. But it helps you sleep better. I cannot remember. It starts with a P though. Um, and mm. also orgasms in particular release the oxytocin, dopamine makes you feel closer and more connected to your partner. But it's also a feel good chemical because you know, yeah, high levels of dopamine and oxytocin, there are better outcomes for emotional and mental wellness because you know even when you think about depression when people work out it's oxytocin i mean not oxytocin i'm sorry endorphins and dopamine get released that's why there's a correlation when you work out the less the more likely you don't feel um the happier you feel Got you, it. and it curbs depression so it's kind of a similar thing too when it comes to that and it helps with heart rate you know even for some people who have heart problems is because you're not, you know, heart problems for different things. But sometimes your heart is a muscle. It needs to have, it needs to exercise too, cardio. So when you you're know, having sex, so. you can exercise your heart. Yeah, because, I mean, have you ever, because the heart rate be beating real fast sometimes, depending on how does hard it, you go. Does it though? You sure? You got, next you time sure? you do something, see how your heart rate go. <laughs> Sometimes wear, like, your, uh, wear your watch. <laughs> my Apple Watch. My Apple Watch is gonna be like, you've had some extraneous activities on Tuesday. <laughs> like what? Check your heart rate. It'd be real. It'd be like, woof. <laughs> Wait. So what if? So what if you have like a health condition? Like what are some? What are some health conditions? Because you mentioned obesity, um, mm-hmm. as well as like a few other things. But like, what are like some other key health conditions that might contribute to someone's like sexual? behavior, appetite, as well as mm-hmm. libido, so on and so forth. And like, mm-hmm. how do you counter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So like you said, obesity is one thing. And then even can factor in their mental health. Like, so for example, certain antidepressants make your libido go down. Certain medications can, yes. Not all, but for some people, antidepressants decrease your libido. Really? It can. Mm-hmm. And your desire is just uh, and what biochemically, if what if I don't really know. What if that they're piece, antidepressant? But. Wouldn't it be making you less depressed? 
Yes, but it, it but it lowers your libido. So you're not depressed as much. You know, it's kind of depending on the person. It could be a flat affect or you are rid of depressed feelings. Uh, but as a result, it just is a chemical. It's chemicals. So okay. it's working with your brain chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And so for some, I'm I'm not necessarily depressed, but it just I'm not I don't have the desire to have sex. My libido is not as, you know, big as it was. Mm. It's reduced. Mm. You know, so mental and emotional stuff, chronic illness is a biggie. Chronic, chronic pain is a biggie. Got you it. know, chronic illness, like you know, people who got terminal illnesses, you think about people get sick like cancer, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh that yeah. takes a toll for sure. I've had a couple of couples where uh, you know, somebody was dealing with breast cancer, that stuff takes a toll on the relationship too, and sex. Because that's not I'm sick. I, that's not really on the forefront of my mind. Uh you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can relieve that migraine though. <laughs> <laughs> so just the migraine. <laughs> yeah, everything else is like, sorry. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those things, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. You know, and so with that, it's like riding the wave because people have to be in the mood. You know what I mean? And even when you think about like people who go through like chemo, for example, some people become, uh, especially women, premenopausal. Yeah. So that shifts, even when it comes to lubrication and the vagina is going to operate a little bit differently because it's in menopause mode. Or not operate so then you at have all. To look at that. that too, because it could be like, I'm not even getting aroused. Uh, so those are factors. This vagina's broken. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing, that thing on uh, the show Insecure? She said, "Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it." Uh, 